village is Ekia Eja Yamwa. My name is Ekia Eja Yamwa. My essay is about the impact of COVID-19 while staying in the house. We were living ordinary lives until we heard there was this pandemic called coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, which came from China and it is spreading across countries. Because it had not reached Ghana, people were saying that God loves us so much that he would not let the virus get to Ghana. But unfortunately, two people came to the virus came with the virus to Ghana and spread it across Ghana, region by region. So government started putting safety measures in place. First, the government put us on lockdown by closing airports so no airplane could enter or go out to prevent the virus from getting into the country by plane. He also closed our land borders so no one could come into the country by land. The president also closed our school so that no child can infect his or her friend with the virus. He also put some people on quarantine to prevent them from spreading it around. He also said we should wear no or face masks. Next stage is Isabella, a people of West Hatch School. My name is Isabella Baden. Coronavirus is also known as COVID-19. It's a deadly disease which originated from Wuhan, a city in China. It has migrated from person to person, city to city, country to country, through physical contact with an infected person. Some symptoms of coronavirus are coughing, sneezing, fever, and others. This virus, which can be prevented through washing of hands, eating fruits and veggies, which contain vitamins and can also prevent physical contact with an infected person. Because of this virus, people have to, have to stop working and stay home. Everything that stands and thank you. Papaya Edu, next on stage. My name is Papaya Edu, and today my essay is on the negative and positive effects of coronavirus. The coronavirus we now know is also called COVID-19. This disease was taken from the Latin word corona, which is crown, because the viral structure is like a crown surrounded with fat and protein. Coronavirus currently has currently contracted about 53 million people, 48,000 people recovered, and 1.3 and 1 million people dead. Fever, dry tiredness, painness, pains, difficulty in breathing are some of its symptoms. Since the disease came into existence and we have been, and it has been spreading, the following are some negative eff effects it has brought us. Firstly, this disease has brought about the reduction of population of people. What this means is that since this virus came and has been spreading, it has been attacking people's immune system, which has been killing them. Secondly, it has led to the low income of revenue to the government. I'm saying this because since the disease came into existence, governments have been pro spending their money in procuring peace to help avoid the spread of COVID-19, which, which has retarded the development in the country. Finally, it has brought about the destruction of the academic calendar. This is because we know all JHS final year students were supposed to write BC on June, but due to this pandemic, they wrote it on September. Next on stage is Philippa Ampoma Amma Bilson. So my name is Philip Ampoma Amma Bilson a student of Atomic Hills 2 Basic School. This is my essay about COVID-19. COVID-19 is the short form of coronavirus 2019. It is the virus which has crown like spice. That is where we got the name corona from. A case was first recorded in China and then it started spreading to other countries such as Italy, America, United Kingdom and eventually Africa, including Ghana. It is known that COVID-19 can be prevented. It spreads through the coughing and sneezing of a person. It also spreads through touching, hugging, and greeting 
an infected person or item, so you have to protect yourself from droplets. You can protect yourself by wearing a nose mask or a face shield when going out for essentials. Stay home and eat healthily to boost your immune system. The coming of the virus has destroyed people's jobs and also brought about the non-schooling of children. It has also showed how doctors work on our behalf. It has also helped some people with their business and it's has helped me know more about Zoom and Google Classroom, but COVID-19 has come to stay, so we have to learn to live with it. We should protect ourselves and keep safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next on stage is Kanisha Dede Ofoe. Ofoe Kanisha is my name, a student of Superfluous Grace Academy, COVID-19 and lessons learned. As a child growing up, I have heard of several diseases such as HIV, AIDS, and malaria, but there isn't a day when one will not read or hear from both social and local media talks about COVID-19. The question that comes into one's mind is, what is COVID-19 and what are lessons to be learned from it? COVID-19 is a new virus linked to the same family of viruses as severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, and some types of common cold. The recovery time is about two weeks, whilst people with severe disease recover within three to six weeks. Some symptoms of the disease are fever, dry cough, sore throat, headache, loss of taste and tiredness, difficulty in breathing. COVID-19 is a person-to-person transmission of direct contact of respiratory droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes. COVID-19 can be spread through food packaging. The virus cannot multiply in food. They need an animal or human host to multiply. The virus infects people of all ages. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, two groups are at higher risk of getting severe COVID-19 disease. These are the age above 60 years, and those who are under medical conditions such as cancer, diabetes, and blood pressure. To prevent this virus from spreading rapidly, maintain social distancing. Wash your hand with soap and running water for at least 20 seconds. Avoid touching your nose and mouth. Next on stage is Marcella Poppy. Coronavirus is also known as COVID-19. It is an infectious disease caused by the new discovered virus. Most people who fall sick with COVID-19 will experience mild and moderate symptoms and recover without treatment. Most common symptoms which can be seen immediately may include dry cough, loose of taste or smell, shortness of breath or tiredness. It takes five or six days when so- someone is infected with the virus to show these sit- symptoms. However, some symptoms may take up to 14 days. Rare or uncommon symptoms may include ashes and pain in muscles, sore throat, diarrhea, and headache. It- it's sometimes shown after a long period of time, or not at all. These symptoms are found mostly in the old age of children. Most of the time, the virus is easily the virus is easily catch the children within the age of three to seven. Coronavirus has spread from the country in the China states because of the late confusion. It was spread before it was known. Next on stage is Kenya Ekia Otuya Ata. I'm very grateful to be given this opportunity to take part in this wonderful competition. My essay is titled The Coronavirus Pandemic, The Invisible Enemy. We battle on daily basis in our lives as individuals, country, and the world at large. The world has recently been hit by an invisible enemy.
coronavirus, a recently discovered virus that attacks its victim unknowingly, stains itself deep within the lungs of the victim, duplicates itself in its new residence until the victim can no more breathe, but choke with dry cough and bombarded with fever, chest pains, tiredness, and mysteriously sends the victim to his grave. Currently, coronavirus has no known cure or vaccine. What makes it scary is its ability to spread fast like a wildfire. It spreads through encountering the virus on an infected surface or droplet or fluid from an infected person in air. Record shows that it has killed hundreds of thousands out of over 20 million people that have contracted the virus. Although coronavirus has no known cure, there are certain preventive measures that can be taken to limit the spread of the virus. The WHO protocols are maintaining a social distancing, frequent hand washing, hand sanitizing, wearing of nose masks together with building strong immune system. Next on stage is Laura Akosia Asabia Nyako. Coronavirus is an infectious disease that spreads mainly between close contacts. It came about in December 2019 and got its name COVID-19. COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. Coronavirus has killed thousands and thousands of people worldwide and a lot of people have been infected. People are mourning for their loved ones who were killed by the virus. The government has given us some preventive measures to stop the spread of the disease through the help of the World Health Organization and other health experts from some other health organizations. Some of the preventive measures are wash your hands with soap and the clean running water. Wear your nose mask everywhere you go. Sanitize your hands in the absence of soap and water. Practice social distancing. One should sneeze onto his or her flat elbow. And if you sneeze into a tissue, immediately drop it into the nearest bin. Some symptoms of the disease are fever, cough, headache, and difficulty in breathing. As at now, we do not know when the spread of the disease will end, and no medication has so far been found to treat or to cure it. Thank you. Next on stage is Ebenezer Akute. My name is Ebenezer Akute. During lockdown, I have learned a lot of things, though it was a bit tiring and boring, but it was a little fun. No friends to play with, wearing no masks, all the time, sometimes when I even wore the mask, I couldn't breathe. After the banning on schools, churches, and etc., it made learning boring, tiring, and hard because of social distances. My parents didn't even allow me to go out to my friends to copy notes. I was not good at copying notes at school. Due to the banning on school, my school created a WhatsApp e-learning group, so I learned a few things. I had forgotten because I didn't have all the notes. I referred to the e-learning group. I always felt lazy. Because I stayed at home, I decided to learn more about programming languages so that I can program a robot and invent. I then started searching on internet. I downloaded all e-learning apps I knew and started learning. I now know a little about making robotics. One of the major lessons I have learned is not to waste time and always have to obey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we're done for, for the day with respect to the contest.